Good morning. What is that Good Morning America thing they do? Good morning. This is Wendy Hill Kennel. Whoa. So I am in here purposely with them in a basket, and this is kind of a hodgepodge. We just started a new play area in my basement. Stay in there. But the reason I'm keeping them all in there but this one, the family that had purchased this puppy has turned him down. No, people. No. So I'm going to put him back on the for sale page by himself. He is a chocolate Merle. He's got a neon collar. In his original videos, which you can also go to the sold page and see the rest of his litter if you're seeing this on the for sale page, we called him Dozer because he was the biggest in the litter and he has double blue eyes. I'm gonna double check him and make sure. Oh yeah, he's got double blue eyes and he's got a neon green collar and I'm, I'm gonna get out of here as soon as I do this. Microchip number is 8358. I'll let you down in a minute. And uh, so I just kind of wanted to shoot a quick video for you guys. And you're also gonna see this on the sold page, but this is just to let you know that he is back up for sale, and um, but he is on the miniature schnauzer for sale page. All right, I'm gonna turn these guys loose. I am gonna get out of here. All right, people, be free. There you go. You ready? You ready? Okay, one, two, three, run. Run. Get out, get out, get out, get out. All right, I am going to are you not making it out of there? This is, they've never seen this before. And we decided with winter coming and nasty weather. All right, I'm gonna get up and get out of here. Oh, that wasn't too bad. Usually I get up like a giraffe with two artificial knees. All right, if you're gonna pee on my carpet already, I'm gonna shoot you. Nope, you're not, okay. Let me put their stools back up. So they're gonna, walk around and look and smell because this is all new so it's going to take them a little bit to get comfortable and i'm going to stick you in the tube just to see what you do all right i'm going to get out of here so vanessa doesn't shoot me from the back which is not a good thing all right i'm going to get them out and my feet out all right I'm out. okay so I'll swipe. We're hoping that in time, once they learn this, because they'll come in here probably one more time to play before they go out. And we thought this would give them enough room to romp and run and have a good time. It's slippery on that floor. We debated on what to put down on the floor to keep them from slipping. And... Uh, but on days that it's nasty and I want to let them out to play, I'll pick up my carpet, bring them down here and turn them loose. And on a vinyl floor, I can just mop when they're done and we'll be good to go. I'm anxious to see if somebody finds the tube. It'll probably take them a little bit to discover the tube. They're too busy running and playing. They're doing super good. Vanessa did, um, uh, I want somebody to discover how to go through the tube and they haven't done it yet. So I want to um, give you weights and microchip number. Oh, there we go. Purple collar, decided to try it, but slid back out. They've done really, really good. They really have. Um, oh, now they're gonna gather under my feet. There they go. Do you have that paper with, yeah, there we go. All right, so I'm gonna read you off microchip numbers. I'm gonna scoot back so I can get the whole thing in here. And uh, I'm gonna give you weights. And 8352 is the neon orange collar. I <laughs> hope. Uh, and she is four pounds, two ounces. 8350, Vanessa's got paper towels for potty control. <laughs> we are gonna go get them. You're, you're all right, I got it out of the way. We have got to, um, I want to go get one. Oh, there, somebody went through. I think it was turquoise. We are going to actually go get one of those little spin mops so we can reach over and mop as they play. So that's on my agenda today to do too. Uh, 8354 is neon pink, female, chocolate merle, four pounds, five ounces. Uh, let's see, we've got 8358, which is neon green. 
It's a chocolate Merle, five pounds, four ounces, which is the puppy that is back up for sale. He's right there in front of us. He's got the, he's really fancy. He's got the two white feet on the front and he's got the big patch on his face of color and he's got the double blue eyes. 83, and he is five pounds, four ounces. 83.56 is the royal blue collar. I love schnauzers with a haircut. You can read, you can see their color colors. Collar colors. And uh, he is five pounds, 14.5. 8351 is the purple collar female. She's a chocolate Merle. She weighs three pounds, 15 ounces. Oh, went through the tube. Yay. Discovered the tube. And uh, we get so excited. There she went back through. Over the silliest things. Oh, there's a, I think there's two in the tube. Yep, that's what I figured he'd do is chew it. <laughs> All right, he says, I'm going to tear the tube apart. Uh, okay, I'm so excited. I lost where I was. Let's see. Purple collar is a female chocolate merle, three pounds, 15. Forest green collar is a female chocolate merle, three pounds, 12.5. The red collar puppy in here is a female chocolate, three pounds, 14 ounces. And last but not least is 8288 with no collar. And it's the salt and pepper. It's two pounds, um, 12.6. Vanessa is doing potty duty. <laughs> She's fighting them all. They're all trying to help her. Come here, guys. Come here, guys. Oh, no, they're, they're helping Vanessa. <laughs> uh, now they're going to cry. Uh, let's see. What else can I tell you? Um, paper towel. We told him to do all this before we came down. I'll, I'll zoom the other way. Yeah, mop, a mop's gonna get it. We gotta get a mop. We're not, we're not uh, all together. We got the pin up, but we forgot to go get the bathroom equipment. So we gotta go get a mop. Uh, there's a couple in here that don't have a haircut and it's just because the client didn't want them to have a haircut. So, um, but the majority of them, I think there's just one in here that hasn't had a haircut. But obviously they're going to enjoy it comes the one through the tunnel. Zoom, zoom, zoom. So in your house, if you need a place to play in the winter or you don't have a yard, I'll tell you what, I love these puppy pins. I, uh, they're not that expensive. I think I paid a hundred dollars and which basically built this pin, and I think I still have a couple extras. So, but that was before COVID. So who knows what they cost now. But I'll tell you another place that's great to look for unusual crates or extra pins is Wayfair. I have bought some really nice, really nice crates off of Wayfair, and they've got nice larger ones, and they actually roll. So if we've got a crate in a place we need to move it, well, you can tell the, and you can see by this what the activity level is like. So they're going to burn this off for a while before we go to lunch, and they need to. They're like crazy busy. And they're awkward as all heck. That uh, little tight tunnel actually is slippery. One side is a slide. Oh, Vanessa got the mop. There, Vanessa's got one. He said, oh, this is going to be fun. Let's chase it. <laughs> oh, they didn't want you to quit, Vanessa. Uh, so if you have the room and you have like a basement or something and you want to take the pup down there and let it run for a while and run the energy off if it's really bad weather, um, I know we're probably going to trash this rug, but it's an old rug I've got. Uh, it's always been down here. We don't even really use it. And I have a green machine, so I figured that. And when Stanley Steamer comes to clean my couch, I'll have them clean my carpet. But hopefully they, we did it so that they could potty around the outside edges, hopefully. Hopefully they do that. There's the orange collar and who is that? Forest green. And yeah, that's forest green right here underneath me. Oh, they're all, they've got a rattle toy. They love... I know they aren't going to be able to play with these very long. Oh, here comes two out the tube. Oh, they're in the middle of the tube. Oh, you can see them over there moving. Ah! 
I know I've gotten calls and people asking me about the Little Tyke Tunnel. Um, I actually have two of these, but they're very hard to find because they don't make them anymore. So um, you can't buy them like you used to, which is really sad. But I have been fortunate enough. I have one client picked up one for me in New York, bless her heart. And I found the other one, oops, on a parent selling wall for baby toys. And the step stools just came from Walmart. And honestly, once they learn them, now she's the first one to go up. That's a little salt and pepper, and she's going up on the stool. I put them on the uh, carpet so they wouldn't slide. Oh, that little chocolate one's trying to crawl underneath the tunnel. Now they're all going to inspect the... I guess they did move one of the stools, didn't they? Oh, she says, I'm going over. Oh, fell through. There she made it. Whoop. That's a big step. Whoop. <laughs> she says, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'll tell you, they're funny. We all could sit and watch some days while they're playing a tug of war. So... These guys have a tug of war going over there with the rope toy. And the orange one, somebody, it's just like somebody went her up and turned her loose. She is just going round and round and round. Oh, here we come down the tunnel. Zoom. Anything that you can give them new is fun for them. It may take them a little bit to learn it. They've never seen any of this stuff down here. And uh, so I'm surprised they picked up the tunnel that quick. And the rattles and the baby toys I have down here, they're not gonna, don't chew my carpet, you little booger. Uh, they're not gonna last long, so I would not buy those with us now. <laughs> she has a great time. She just likes to run. <laughs> so that's the neon collar that is running like a madman out here through, nope, she almost went through the tunnel. She said, wait, I have to chew on it for a minute. I bought the tunnel for five bucks, at, <laughs> five bucks at a yard sale. So I can see there's going to be many more tunnels in my future when they tear them up. Uh, we're also going to add a small swimming pool with lots of balls in it for them to play in. So I'm going to try that next week. And we'll probably put it in a corner of this. We have enough we can make it bigger in here. But um, I don't know if I'm going to make it bigger or not. We'll see. So anyway, enough of this fun stuff. So these guys are getting really close to go home. Um, I would make sure that you do not get a crate any smaller than 36 inch. I also would throw that divider away that comes with the crate. Just because you put a divider in that crate does not mean they will not potty. They're going to potty, then they're going to lay in it, they're going to get it all over them, and you're going to give them a bath, and you're going to get frustrated. So give them the whole kennel. When you come to pick up your puppy, I will show you how to set your kennel up. You don't want to put it flat on the wall. Yeah. Oh, we're going to be mad now. Uh, you want to set it so that it sticks out in your room. That way, they, they keep shoving her on the back, and she keeps trying to get up the tunnel. There, she made it. Uh, but they, um, they automatically go clear to the back of wherever they're living to go to the potty. And if you set it up sideways, they're not going to understand where to go to get out of their feces or urine. So we set all of our kennels up so that they have room to go to the back of it and go to the potty. Oh, they're like, oh, the green collar one went through the tunnel. That's good. She came through very slowly, but hey, she did it. She said, okay, I'm going to go back. No, maybe not. Oh, that's it. What? What? A, yep, that's the orange collar. <laughs> she's into everything. It's funny, the little salt and pepper one, she's just like, she enters in, but then she doesn't, she doesn't really press it. Oh, she's going to bite his back leg. Now he's going to get her. And she's going to growl at <laughs> She's always been the littlest, but I'll tell you what, she sticks up for herself. Well, they're pushing my stair steps apart, so that didn't work very well. I want to build them a ramp in here. I'm going to have my son do that so they can run to the top of a ramp. I think they're finally getting it and they're worn off. So anyway, back to puppies. Um, we've been feeding free choice, so you may or may not want to keep feeding free choice. 
but um, that means they have dog food 24 hours a day in front of them. They never overeat that way, and they do, they do not get aggressive um, with their food if they're fed that way. So it depends on what your comfort level is. But when you get these home, if you put them on a schedule and then call me and go, they're not eating. Well, if there's byproduct coming out the back, then there's product going in the front. So uh, I would at least leave them on free choice for at least a week because when you first get them home, they've got to get used to a whole new everything. New people, new schedules. This one's resting on the bottom step. And, uh, oh, 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 there we go. Wouldn't you know it, he says, I'm going to pull it over. We plant it. Pulling the tree, too. So, yeah, you little sneakers. Yeah, we have a puppy tree here in the back. It's down here all summer. I just never took it upstairs this year. But, ah, uh, hey, they can get that. No, maybe the, hey, guys. I changed their mind. They found that electric cord that must have slipped down too short. It's not plugged in, but I don't want them to chew it. Um, oh, there, the salt and pepper went through the tunnel. So, anyway, um, I'm going to send out your videos this weekend. So, watch for those. I'm not sure what day I'll get them out. Hey, hey, orneries, quit chewing the vinyl. Um, but I will get your videos out to you this weekend. I hope you have a Merry Christmas. I'm sorry this is so long, but it was so fun to watch him do this. I just kept shooting. Um, paper towel detail. So we got somebody hit the carpet. Um, if you have any questions about these guys, give me a call. They're going in on the 30th for their spay and neuter. I will zoom. I can't zoom out. Vanessa's going in and clean up what we can until I get out the green machine. I'll tell you what, if you have a green machine, they're awesome. We're going to clean the floor in here with this little piddle spot with that after we go. Also, if you use vinegar and water to clean the area they potty in, they will not smell it. They will not go back there to potty. And um, it's 50-50, 50% clear vinegar or white vinegar and 50% water. And you can use it in a spray bottle or pour it right out on the floor, whichever works best for you. So I hope you've enjoyed their video and their new play area. Uh, we'll bring them down here one more time and maybe try and change some things in paper towel detail or mop detail. So... <laughs> <laughs> I think this is going to be an ongoing issue. So have a great week. I hope you have a Merry Christmas. And call me if you have any questions, but I will not be answering my phone on Friday or Saturday or Sunday. So you can get a hold of me on Monday after Christmas starting on Friday. So have a great one. Have a safe new year. And most of all, remember the reason for the season. And all the blessings that we have, even though things, things seem really bad right now in this country, which I agree they are, God's in charge. That's all we got to remember. And eventually, it's going to work itself out. So have a good one. And from all of us here at Wendy Hill Kennel, Merry Christmas.